doing a haul video today that I'm so excited for. Unfortunately, not everything I wanted to include in this video has actually arrived. So all the magpie things are not here, so I'm not able to show you those yet. But I'll just do a separate video for them because I've ordered quite a lot anyway. So I think adding all that into all this would have been a really, really long video anyway. So let's get straight into it. I've got some nail related items and some non related items to nail. So I'm going to go through it all. If I did get quite a few people say that they just love haul videos and they're happy to see whatever I've bought, whatever it is. So I'm going to go with it. So first of all, I'm going to go through the non-related nail items just to get it all out of the way. And then everything after that will be nails. So first of all, this kind of is nail related because I'm keeping this in my nail room, um, which is where I am now. But this is like the door. So it's just the, the plain part of the room. Everything's over there. So this will go on top of my desk. No my desk was called drawers um because i've got a plant that kind of matches it so i bought this which is a wax melt holder it's really cute i really like it it's quite big to be fair i like good strong ones and it's like actual stone so it's really really strong um and then you just obviously put your wax melt up there so to go with that you can't have a wax melt holder without any Oh god, wax melts. So I bought quite a lot. <laughs> so I bought from two different companies. I think both of them were on Etsy. One might have been a website, one Etsy, I'm not sure. But the two different brands are... Well, this doesn't have a brand name on it. What was it called? L Sense Creation. So E L L E Sense like smells creations they are these first ones i'm going to show you and honestly they smell incredible like incredible i've put some of one in my wax mat. so this one this little cube here that's missing i've put that tiny tiny bit in the top of this already and it literally is so strong like i can smell it as soon as i open the box so i've got snow fairy vanilla just got a bit of an obsession with vanilla cherry cherry these ones that i'm showing you now are all smaller those two were bigger bars they were three pound each and these i think were about one pound 75 ish so i've got cherry cranberry sparkler sea spray blueberry and vanilla alien and lady million so i've got all of those from there i think I can't remember how, how much exactly it came to, but it wasn't a lot. I was quite impressed with how much I got, to be honest, and how amazing they smell. It was well worth the money. So they're from Elle Sense Creations on Etsy. Then I got these. These are two selection boxes that I got. Um, I think one of them was called Pretty in Pink or something like that. And then one was Cleaning Inspired. And I just love the idea of Cleaning Inspired ones because they just smell clean and fresh and i really like that kind of smell within the salon so this one is fresh linen this is country walks this one is twilight dreams and then snow queen bakewell tart and marshmallow fluff i mean i've never ever known like marshmallow to have fluff but it smells amazing so whatever that is it's um it's good so obviously i've got quite a lot of wax melts i think they came to 13 pound 50 for both sets including postage with 10 percent off i think they're about 15 pound and then the 10 percent off and then postage and it came to 13 pound 50 i don't know how much that makes in each but there we go, we'll go with it so that's the wax stuff done Right, next I'm going to do the body shop stuff because if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, you'll know that I've got a bit of an obsession with the body shop. Like, I literally am obsessed. I can't stop buying stuff from there. It's driving me insane. My bank account does not thank me for it, but my skin does because this is no makeup skin and obviously it's not great because I've always struggled with my skin, but I just really couldn't be bothered to do anything with it today. So my skin is literally the best it's ever looked. Believe it or not, this is the best. I know that's not good, but... It's amazing and it's all thanks to the body shop. So first of all, I'm going to show you the hand creams that I've got because they do relate to nails because I offer my clients to be able to use these after they've had their nails done. So as soon as I've put their cuticle oil on, they can pick a an, an hand cream and then they pop that on after. So I've got British Rose, Almond Milk and Honey, Wild Argan Oil and Coconut. 
I do want them all eventually, but some of them are out of stock at the moment, obviously, because people use hand creams for this situation. So it's gone out of stock really quick. So the only one that was left to the British Rose was a massive one. And I love British Rose anyway. So oh, it's amazing. I'm happy, God, I'm happy with the big one. So I keep those. I've already got the sheer one as well, but that's not new. I've had that for a while. I'm just going to be keeping those in this, which is on command i think they're called command the little hooks that you pull down to pull them off so there's hooks on the wall and then i just slot these on top so then they just sit in here and eventually obviously there'll be more in there and then everyone can just pick which one is they fancy and go from there so the reason my skin is so good on my face is because of a few things so i bought i don't know whether it's majority but i bought quite a few things from the vitamin e range it's absolutely incredible, like really, really good. So I got the toner, face wash, cream cleanser. Hold on, there's more. Eye cream, <laughs> moisture cream, and sinking moisture sleep sleeping mask. This stuff is amazing. This is the sleeping one. I literally just rub it into my skin at night, and then I've only used it literally last night because it arrived yesterday. And I woke up this morning and just felt like. I don't even know how to explain it about that amazing <laughs> so there we go and then the second thing that is good is <coughs> just eating my dinner and it's obviously not decided to go down yet oh with the drink there that's handy god knows how that's how long that's been sat there but it's nice so it's fine um three in one wash scrub and mask from the tea tree range i do have lots of other things from the tea tree range but it wasn't like recent things that i've bought i've used this for quite a while so i'm not showing you that because i've just had it for ages and it's not nothing new so i use the body shop mask brush and the new masks i bought are himalayan charcoal japanese matcha tea and i don't want to mispronounce that that's the coffee one let's just turn it around so i can actually show you what they are so i mainly have always used that one's not even facing oh my god they're so big for my midget hands um i've i only really ever used this one in the middle um the himalayan charcoal and i have had a mini of the japanese matcha tea one for quite a while that i used recently and i really like it i've also got the epo ethiopian honey one which is amazing it's really weird texture and it really freaks me out the first time i used it because it's like honey but then it literally just becomes like a stuck mask like you usually would and then you have to wash it off so it's just really weird it's a strange um consistency but really really effective i absolutely love it so i love their masks i'm trying to get all of them but a couple of them are out of stock at the moment i'm waiting for the british rose one because i imagine that's amazing um i got the shia dry to very dry skin nourishing body lotion that is also amazing brilliant for when the weather's hot because i always get really dry skin and then I got this Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist. It's not going to focus, is it? You can see it anyway. Yeah, Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist. That is amazing. Like, I haven't actually got it on today. I did put it on this morning, but I've washed my face again since. But it's really, really good for when you're not wearing any makeup like me today. And you just want your skin to look fresh instead of dull, like you've just woken up all day. So then this is absolutely amazing for people with hay fever if you have hay fever and affect your eyes a lot like me you need this it's the elderflower unperfumed cooling eye gel and it's just amazing it actually works <laughs> it really cools them down so i put this on i mean my phone's really not liking me very much today is it let's be honest but that's what it looks like anyway it's the elderflower one and i put it on every morning before i come downstairs it's amazing um, I use the Hemp Heavy Duty Lip Care Balm Stick thing. It's amazing. <laughs> and then I've got, I just love the smell of the mango stuff from the body shop. It's so, so nice. If you don't have any, just buy anything, anything from the mango set. And it's just insane. This is the scrub and this is the body yogurt. If you're going to get anything, I'd definitely recommend the body yogurt. It's just, it smells insane. Like, I've never been one to remember to put, like, moisturizer on for my skin and stuff like that every day because i mean let's be honest it's a bit of a, like a nightmare isn't it i don't enjoy it at all but i have actually used that every day simply because it smells amazing and then the last 
that was rather aggressive the last two things i got was pink grapefruit body butter there was a great deal on where if you spent more than 30 pounds you could get a body butter and a scrub for 15 pound and these are like 16 pound each so for 15 pound for both that was amazing i couldn't turn that down so i got pink grapefruit with that and that smells amazing as well last thing was a peppermint cooling foot lotion another thing that i've never really bothered with is actually doing anything with my feet like you should but since i've got that I have because it smells again amazing so that's all the body shop stuff done and out of the way all the wax mounts and then this is really random i'm not going to talk about it too much because it is literally just tape extension remover i have tape hair extensions and i'm not going to show you how grown they are because it's gross they've been in for way longer than i can remember they should have been taken out i think it's two weeks ago now but obviously the hair extension is not working because none of us are so i can't go to her and like i wouldn't anyway so <sighs> i'm aware it's gross I know that I just love my hair and I hate taking it out because it makes me really sad even the two days that I usually go between having them removed by her and putting them back in like makes me so sad because I hate my natural hair like to be fair it's not that short it's is that my natural I think that's my natural hair yeah so it's like that long my natural hair is but it's just a lot thinner and I just feel a lot better with it in so that's why it's still in when it shouldn't be I'm not going to show you the growth because it's quite embarrassing Okay, so the last thing I think this is that is not now related and everything else is, is books. And I don't even read actual books. I have a Kindle, Kindle something, the one that has the light in the background but it's not the fire. I don't know which one it is, but I have a Kindle so I don't usually use books. But for some reason, one of these was more expensive Kindle edition and it was a book. So I thought, you know, I just have the book. That's fine. I'm stingy. If I save a pound, I save a pound. <laughs> So I got these two. I've started reading this one. I'm about a third of the way in. And if you're going to read a book ever in your life, make sure it's this one. I'm not going to go too into it because who wants to hear me talk about books? It's not that type of channel. But this one is seriously good. I've not read this one yet, so I can't comment. But I think they're both pretty similar. I got this recommendation from Gemma Louise Miles here on YouTube. She is absolutely incredible. I watch every single video she has. If you haven't already, then go and see her because she's great. And she follows books like this and The Secret and things like that. But that's a different topic. So go see her. She's really good at explaining it. So that's all the non-related nail stuff. Non-related, non-nail related stuff. Um, so now all the nail things, which is exciting. So the one thing I do want to show you first, because it is pretty boring, it is kind of nail related and it's kind of not, is it's a box. And I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous and I'm not going to put it together properly because I'm not going to lie, it takes me a lot longer than it should to do this. It's like the most simple thing ever and I've still managed to find it really difficult. Anyone else like that or is it just me? <laughs> so anyway, it's a box. These bits go up and in there under them but yeah they're boxes and they're pink i don't know if you can tell yeah they're like a pale pink color they're so nice so i bought these instead of i don't know whether i showed them in my last press on video because i don't think the envelopes had arrived yet but i'd ordered some like holographic pink envelopes and they were lovely but they were a4 and that's quite large so i got these pink boxes instead i think they're a little bit cheaper as well which is always a bonus so i got some of those for sending out press ons now for actual fun stuff that is now related so this is kind of nail related but not i'm using it for nails so i'll class it as it is um this is a coaster from wild one interiors they are absolutely incredible i can't wait to get more i don't need more but i want them because they're so nice it was 9.99 and well worth the money it's so thick really really strong like rock hard and it's acetone proof and it's just amazing i'm using it as a gel polish palette so if anyone's wondering where to get a nice coaster from for gel polish designs and stuff like that head over to wild one interiors they're incredible next up is quite boring it's literally just a sanitizer spray from glissabelles i've got two of these now ready for when we reopen i'm just making sure that i'm ready so you can spray your tools with that and hands i don't spray well, and nail files i do spray my nail files i don't spray my tools because i disinfect them properly um but they're perfect for spraying the hands when you're about to start and also for spraying your files next thing i actually do think is really exciting just notice how long this video is we're nearly done don't panic we're nearly done we've got like three things left and then we'll be okay <laughs> i'm glad i've left the magpie things for the day now it's good job they aren't gone so i got these they're from glitter bells they are the gel five piece that's not in the five piece they are the gel 
brushes five piece collection i think those two are mainly for one stroke i'm going to use this as a cleanup brush around the edges of the nail cuticle area and side walls and then obviously liner brushes and a detail brush they are absolutely incredible i love glitter brows nail art brushes these have been out of stock for so long i think unfortunately they are out of stock again now but they're definitely worth the wait like when you finally get them you'd be so happy you held out for them i think they're about 23 24 pounds something like that and for five brushes that is incredible the quality is amazing they look really nice and they're just really really easy to work with i really like them They'll last you forever you don't need to keep buying them if you get those and then this one they sell separately i think this is still in stock although i haven't checked lately so i'm not sure i've had this while and that's just the I'm just trying to get it to focus not on me but it's not going to i don't know why i keep doing this it's clear you don't seem to think <laughs> um that's the longer liner brush and that is insane so about those and then uh got these and then one more thing so got some e-file bits can't open the box of short nails i can't do anything with short nails drive me insane but anyway got these e-file bits in two separate kits i think they're 25 pound per kit i know that this one is but i'm not sure on this i think i think they're going to be sold at the same price i'm not 100 sure but these are from where i always mention which is divine beauty um well, Divine Nails and Beauty, I always just shorten it because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, I will link them in the description. They are amazing. They just look absolutely brilliant. I use my e-file for every single set of nails that I do. And honestly, if you buy both of these as a nail technician, you will not have to use a nail file for anything other than literally just filing the free edge into shape. That's it. That's it. Literally, you can use these for absolutely everything else. Like all your prep, all your refining, everything. So, yeah, I'm not going to go into what the bits are and everything like that because there'll be a description on the website for them. Um, but, yeah, incredible. They include absolutely everything that they've got. They've got seven in each. So for £25 for seven, that is insane bargain, by the way. They can be really expensive for bits and these seem really good quality. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with these. And they come in these boxes which hold up to 14 bits. So you can get all the ones you've already got in there as well if you've already got a little collection like I have of e-file bits so the last thing i've already popped everything in it so it's a bit annoying but is this lipstick holder from ebay it was six pound 99 unfortunately since buying this and filling it with the current magpie things i've got i've bought a hell of a load more so i've had to order another one <laughs> i'm not going to have these tall ones at the front when the new one of these and the new magpie things come i'm going to take the tall ones out the front and just have the smaller ones at the front because i've ordered more dusts and chromes and things like that so they'll fill those so yeah i've just got all of those in there for now obviously if you know me or follow me anywhere you'll know that i don't just have a few of anything the only reason i've only got a few magpie bits at the moment is because i only started buying from magpie about three weeks ago <laughs> which is Good and bad to admit. <laughs> I have already decided though that I feel like I want to transfer over them completely. I just, everyone knows that I use glitter bells already and I don't have any problems with them whatsoever for anything apart from the fact that when I need things they're usually out of stock. So when they come back in stock I find I have to either be there when they're right there and then they're uploaded or I miss out again and I end up using things I don't particularly want to use. So like certain core powders and stuff like that are my favourites and I can never get hold of them just they're a great great brand and i would never say anything bad about them because they're amazing i've used them for a while and the packaging is stunning so i'll still use things like the nail art brushes and stuff but i think i'm going to test out magpies everything their gel polish colors their obviously i know their glitters and dusts are good i'm going to try their build me up and give me strength their build gel kind of things and I'm going to go from there and see how I fancy it. Um, so soon enough, I'll probably have a video uploaded of a haul of absolutely everything that Magpie sells because that's the type of person I am. <laughs> I'm going to try a couple of each of their products first, make sure that I'm happy with it all. And then I'll, uh, I'll see into transferring over, I think. Um, but that's a whole nother topic. So I think that's everything I've bought actually lately. I did get a few candles, but they're just boring bits. They're literally just candles. You know what a candle looks like. I do use the Eco Wix ones, though, I must say, from Asda. They are so nice. I can't remember how much they are, but they have a wood wick and they make like a crackling noise when they're burning and it's so relaxing. I love just sitting in like a dark bedroom with a crackling noise and a book. 
can't read a book in the dark, but you know what I mean, just dim. <laughs> Um, so I think that's it actually. Um, I'm still waiting for Doris and Martha from Navy Pro Tools. I can't wait to get them because I'll be doing a prep video when I've got them. Um, if there's any kind of videos that you definitely want to see and you want me to upload, then please let me know and I'll make sure I get onto that. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching, especially if you managed to watch it all because I know 20 minutes is a long time to watch someone open things. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon. I kind of like doing these videos. I feel like it's a bit more personal and you get to know me a bit more. Thank you to everyone that sent me such lovely messages on social medias about these videos. And honestly, it is so humbling to get those messages and say like, I'm helping you or I'm keeping you sane during lockdown, stuff like that. Because me doing this is keeping me sane. So to know that me doing this is helping you keep sane is really, really nice. So thank you so, so much to everyone that has reached out and got in contact with me I love it just want to quickly point out I am doing live workshops on my Instagram account all the nail art ones obviously I don't know how long I'm going to be in lockdown for but I assume it's a little while longer so there'll be a couple of weeks doing different things do using different nail art so if you want to get involved in them then please follow me the link will be in my description of my Instagram account I've also got a business workshop that I wanted to just go into a little bit more detail about because that is one you have to pay for. It's £5, which honestly, I'm not just saying it because I'm the one doing it. There is going to be a lot of information. So if you're in the industry and you're struggling to gain clients or you're in the industry and you just want a bit of a refresher and you need a couple new clients or you're just starting out and you have none or you haven't even started yet and you think you're going to and you just want to see what you can do to get into the industry quicker then honestly it'll be well worth the five pound it's going to include a lot of information um so make sure you bring a notepad and pen if you are getting involved because it's going to be a lot and i'll answer any questions at all that you've got um i think it would just be nice for us to get to know each other as well because i love having nail tech friends or any type of friends they're fine with me <laughs> so yeah thank you and i will be back I don't want to say tomorrow because I always say that and then when I'm not back tomorrow I feel bad so I'll be back very soon tomorrow or the day after with another video so thank you so much and I'll see you soon see you soon <laughs> bye